appliance of Elyria, Ohio. Now, you know, you can buy appliances at a lot of different places. You've got choices. Here's what you cannot buy. You cannot buy totally personal service, and you cannot buy the knowledge these people have. I mean, they know every bell and whistle on every appliance in the store, and that's on top of competitive prices. Uh, that's, there's a reason why they've been very successful for more than 60 years. The Stewart's Appliance in Illyria, and, and you know what they always say? Whenever you come here to shop, there's always a Stewart in the store. So let's check it out. Mr. or Mrs. Stewart! There's two! There's two. Come on up here for just a second. <laughs> They're going to want to steal the whole show. I just know it. This is Ed Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. Terry Stewart. I've gotten to know them very well over the last uh, 25, 30 years I've known you. Something, Something like, like that. that. Yeah. And, man, you talk about personal service. The side of the make uh, tonight is called Butterscotch Bourbon Brickle Bonbons. The first thing you do is you buy a yellow cake mix and you bake it. I made one of these in advance. So we'll put that right there because we'll use that in a second. Now in this pot, I'm going to melt one stick of butter. And to that melted butter, we're going to add one cup of powdered sugar. And the great news is you don't even have to sift it. Take it off the heat. We're going to add... Carefully measured, about uh, two thirds of a cup of brittle, which is just chopped up heath bar. Okay, then we're going to add um, a couple of teaspoons. That's all you need to just kind of give this uh, recipe a new dimension. A couple of teaspoons of bourbon. Before you cook with any uh, liquor, you always make sure that it hasn't gone bad. Because bourbon goes bad uh, in weeks, it can turn just rancid. So you just want to make sure. Must be good. Perfect. Oh, gotta put it in here. Carefully measured, two teaspoons of bourbon. Here's where my mistake cake comes in handy. You take the cake and you take your hands or hand and you just crumble it in there. Can you picture me the day that I messed up this cake going, ah, what should I do? And, and I've been making this for many, many years. So you crumble the entire cake into there, one handed. <laughs> And then you actually you take water with your hand, you squish it together, and squish it together, and it's like a cake. But we do have to squish it together like that, roll it up, and then you set it aside. Now we're going to melt about a pound, to, to cover 50 of these, you're going to need about, about a pound of uh, butterscotch morsels, which is a package and a half. It's it. There it is. I love to put them in these little, uh, you know, fluted papers. It looks really fancy. By the way, these freeze really well, these, so you can plan ahead on stuff. But uh, they're just. I just love the thought of making bonbons. It's kind of an old-fashioned thing, and it's different than chocolate. And um, if you don't believe me, they're really good. So if you want to come up here and try one, come on down. Thank you very much.